OnePlus 7 Pro is arguably the best device that OnePlus has ever made till date. It's got the Snapdragon 855, but so has the Xiaomi Redmi K20 Pro. Now the question is, has Xiaomi had to cut any corners to get that Snapdragon 855 processor in their device? Well, let's see what happens for this Speedtest G. So we have the Redmi K20 Pro on the left hand side with the Snapdragon 855 and the OnePlus 7 Pro with the Snapdragon 855 on the right hand side but the difference is the uh, K20 Pro has a full HD display as OnePlus 7 Pro has a quad HD display. Now if there's any difference in the overall performance here of the Snapdragon in the K20 Pro will it be compensated for by the fact that it's running a full HD display as we go into the bloom test we can see the difference in the density there because it is full HD on the left and it is quad HD on the right hand side as we go into the SQL light test. Both devices seem to be doing about the word, but it looks like the OnePlus 7 Pro is going to actually get there first. It is. It is now the first into the 3D Q test. So a lead there now by the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro as both devices are now into the 3D cube test. And so this is going to be interesting when we get through to that Unity test, particularly as we can see now the OnePlus 7 Pro is going into that 2D gaming test and it's already into the 16 thread test. So a clear lead now by the OnePlus 7 Pro. It's doing really well as it goes through these tests and we can see the K20 Pro is now all also into the 16 thread test but there we go the OnePlus 7 Pro first into the test this surely means it has a great lead now over the K20 Pro but the K20 Pro is running this flyover in only full HD compared to quad HD on the OnePlus 7 Pro so we're going to see now which one is able to do it first as we go down now to the valley we're going to turn right and then it goes up to the sun who's going to get there it looks neck and neck at this point absolutely neck and neck up to the sun I couldn't tell the difference there which one was first we come down to the castle scene which one's going to finish the castle scene first? Which one's going to be? There we go. The K20 Pro is the first. It's going to pressure. Surely this means it's going to win. But wait a second. The OnePlus 7 Pro is coming up from behind. Which one's going to get there first? It's just so neck and neck. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Unbelievable. The OnePlus 7 Pro won very well. At the end there, 1 minute and 40.1 compared to 1 minute 40.2. Let's break down those scores and see what happened. So if you look at the overall time, there's one tenth of a second between them. 1 minute 40.1 for the OnePlus 7 Pro, 1 minute 40.2 for the K20 Pro. This doesn't tell us all the story though. Let's go down to the CPU times and we can see a big difference here. The CPU time on the K20 Pro is 30.8 compared to 26.1 so a clear lead there by the OnePlus 7 Pro and it takes that lead into the mixed test 40.1 for the K20 Pro 39.8 for the OnePlus 7 Pro so still in the lead but now when we get to the GPU test remembering the K20 Pro is running in full HD it was able to do that flyover in 29.2 compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro which did it in 34.1 so any lead it had at that point was eroded rapidly by the K20 Pro and in the end the OnePlus 7 Pro came in by just a fraction of a second in the lead 1 minute 40.1. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget we have a Twitter account, Speed Test Underbar G. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.